Today I'm going to show you how to install the extruder cover upgrade uh, that you can 3D print for your uh, Zortrax M200. So the original looks like this one here. And as you can see it does leave the top section of the extruder cable a little bit exposed. And these are particularly delicate, um, so Zortrax have developed a new one that adds a little bit more protection to this. And so if we take a look at the, the new one here that we've got installed, uh, it's just raised up a bit and adds a lot more uh, protection to the, to the extruder cable and um, aims it uh, in a vertical direction, like this. Um, and you, you 3D print these. Um, you can download the parts uh, by following the link up here. And I'll show you how to install them now. Okay, so once you've printed out your uh, parts, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the filament's removed. Um, so you can just take the guide tube out and put that to one side. And then ensure that the power uh, is disconnected completely. Then we're going to remove this section here, this 3D printed part. And this will expose uh, all these cables here and these run into the extruder PCB. We need to uh, remove this, so first thing we're gonna have to do is take out the cables like this. Just be careful not to damage any of them. So once they're disconnected, just push them to one side to keep them out of the way and then we're going to disconnect the extruder cable, like so. Just be careful with this. As mentioned, it is quite fragile. Lay that down the back. And then you've got two, uh, two screws with an Allen key head that hold this PCB on. So you're just gonna need an Allen key or an Allen key headed screwdriver, like this one. Just remove the two screws. Okay, and put the uh, PCB over to one side if you're going to put that back on. This should free up this other 3D printed part, which you can then put to one side. We're not going to need that now. And now you're ready to fit the new parts. Um, so first of all, we're going to have to um, remove all the support material from those, so we'll just do that now. <laughs> That's caught on camera. Just jab myself in the oh, finger. No. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Keep it in. Right, so first thing is to take the larger piece with the Zortrax writing on the front. And we just need to thread these cables through the slot at the back. Like so. And then position the two holes over the, over the holes in the top. And then we'll bring our extruder PCB over and align that, that up. And then just screw that into place. Don't over tighten it, but you don't want it to be rattling around too much. Um, that's fine. So now we just need to uh, reconnect the cables that we disconnected. Make sure they click firmly into place. Now you're ready to fit the extruder cable back in. And you just push that down until the arms click over, hold it in nice and firmly. Now all that's left to do is fit the, the other section, which should locate, there are two little locators there which slot into the holes on the other printed part, and then a small little clip 
that should click nicely into place and be nice and secure, uh, ready to start printing again. Okay, so that's our extruder cover fitted and it'll keep our extruder cable nicely protected. Uh, if you need any other parts whilst doing this, uh, a new extruder cable or extruder PCB, you can find these at our website, www.dream3d.co.uk. Um, and if you have any questions about fitting it, just leave your comments in the section below and we'll be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.